My career interests began when I was in grade six and my aunt, whom I was very close to, developed breast cancer. And I remember this so distinctly because it coincided with one of those career days in school when they ask, what do you wanna be when you grow up? And I responded that I wanted to be a medical oncologist. And I remember my teacher sort of paused for a minute and said, how about doctor? <laughs> so I knew I was interested in helping people affected by cancer from a really young age. But my real career really began uh, when I was a fourth year undergraduate student and offered a summer studentship in a laboratory at SickKids. And the PI of that lab was named Jane Danska. And for whatever reason, she was willing to train a completely lab naive summer student. And at the end of that summer, uh, Jane asked me if I wanted to stay in her lab and, set, and asked if I'd ever considered applying to graduate school and if I would consider doing that in the Department of Immunology at the University of Toronto. Uh, and so I did. I've been really fortunate um, to have benefited from, from great mentors, not just one, but, but many. Um, my, my primary PhD supervisor, as I say, was Jean Danska, but I was actually co-supervised by Cindy Guidos, and both are still at SickKids and very successful as senior scientists. When I moved to Boston to do my postdoctoral studies at Harvard, I was very fortunate to work under the supervision of another amazing woman um, named Katja Georgiopoulos, who is a brilliant Greek expat and named all of the transcription factors that we cloned in her lab after heroes of Greek mythology. So all of these mentors uh, challenged me, they encouraged me, they set really high standards. Um, they provided me with opportunities to grow and they gave me critical and constructive feedback. And actually over time, they've become my friends. So it's a long, it's a long arc of relationship and perhaps um, I, th I think that constancy in my life really speaks volumes about their impact on me and their importance in my career and, and also their importance in, um, in who I've become as a person. So having been um, such a beneficiary, I hope to pay that forward and I, um, I hope to be able to mentor and shape other women's careers as well. I have a personal policy of never turning down a request to meet and to always be the one to buy the coffee. Um, I, I love meeting with young women and hearing their career thoughts, um, the cross, crossroads they're at, often their angst about things, how to balance family and career comes up a lot. Um, and I try, to, I try to really listen intently. I offer advice when it's wanted, um, but I also really actively try to push those women forward in the way that I was as well. So I think it's important to connect them with people that I think could be helpful to propose them for opportunities if they arise um, and not just be a sounding board, but to be an active mentor um, participating in those people's lives.